Let's start this conversation with uh, the man I call Carlos, who is an illegal miner who joins us right in the studio here. Hello, Carlos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Can you first tell us why you're involved in illegal mining? Thank you. I first joined illegal mining because of poverty. I was working with one of the company called Seti Company in Kumasi, Ahinsan. And one day, one of my friends called me and said that, hey, Jack, there is a galamsey going on at Amansia West and a town called Yakurum. So let's go there. That was 2011. So we just went there. When I went there, the first week, I got only three hundred cities. So when we go on break, I return back to Kumasi and then I inform him that the work is very too hard. I can't do it. And he said, oh, there is many in, more than the one we are doing in Kumasi. I said, okay, then I'll go. So I went there 2011, 2012, 2013. Then I moved from that place to uh, Tukrum in the same district. From Tukrum, I went to Watreso, where the river Oda is. Right from there, I moved to um, Amenfi, Amenfi Central, that is Ejakama. So I went there to, and there is a chief called Nanakasa. That time he was the chief that time. And now I learned that he has passed away. So we, I do a lot of Galamsey activity. But what I realized is that the most land we are destroying, the chiefs are part of it, and then the politicians. And sometimes too, the prominent people in the society, they are part of it. So you the, say chiefs and politicians. And Did politicians. you work for any of these uh, agencies that were directly owned by uh, politicians or chiefs, as you claim? I went to one politician, now he is standing for MP. So oh. these are the people they are involved in doing Galamsey. And I work personally at Forest too. Uh, that is Enchi Forest. And there is a river there called Yoyo, uh, Ankara, and then the Suhema. The Yoyo is in the forest. And then the Ankara and then the Suhema, they stream straight to the Yoyo. So we have destroyed the Yoyo uh, the Suhama and the Nankra. So when the uh, Suhama and Nankra go straight to the Yoyo, and the Yoyo to take to the um, uh, this river, uh, Tano. So sometimes the forestry will follow. When they come and they meet us, they collect something. You are alleging that the forestry commission people. Take this money one, from I will not say allege. Mm. I'm not alleged. I'm, I'm telling you the facts. Okay. They collect something. Sometimes they leave their number, and every week we send it to them. How much do you normally send? There are three types. We send to you, and then where we will leave, we have another one there. So we send 600 cities every week. 600 cities every yes, week? Yes, 600 cities every week. So tell us, what do you normally do? as an illegal miner, because I know there are different roles and responsibilities on site. What do you personally normally do? We, we are just a lay workers, lay my workers. We, um, we are doing the, all the work. Like that for us, we don't use excavators. We use only shovels and picks. That is what we do. So as for if you call it um, manpower, Hours we do manpower, but we have those big sponsors who are using excavator, one leg, chamfine, they are using those things. But for we, we are using manpower. And you work for those who use the chamfines and the other big I have machines. worked with some before, and later on I decided to work on my own. But I don't have money to buy land. I don't have money to buy pumping machine. I don't have money to buy artists. So at first, we just go to the forest. The forest, we call it no man's land. So when the forestry come, and then you are able to sort them out, then they leave you to work. 
So every week, you give their part. So what does a typical day look like? Uh, at first, when I went to Yakro, my week was trend series, and then later on, we moved to day mark at Kunsu, I call it, um, uh, 250. It depends. A day? Yes. Sometimes you get 100 CDs, sometimes 150, and it depends. And how long does it take for you to get that amount of money? How much work do you have to do? We don't have a crate of work. Sometimes we can start off from 12 o'clock and then we close 6 o'clock. Sometimes we can start from 8 o'clock. It depends. You can work here, we do it two hours, two hours. Every two hours, then we rest for a while. And then we come back every two hours, we rest for a while. How do you protect yourself? We don't have anything to protect ourselves. Do you get support? Like what? Support, let's say, from either state agencies, aside from the Minerals Commission people you say or claim come to take money from you, police or any other agency that helps protect you? No. We don't have any police to protect us. But the moment you see police on the site, first, either they will come and see you are biased or there is an operation going on. Apart from these two things, you will never see any police officer in sight. Either they are come to see you are biased to collect their share, or they are assigned assignment for uh, uh, maybe to drive away the Galamsey people. But for that, what are they can't. They can't drive you out? They can't. So this uh, call f by the government or people for the government to government stop this? Government cannot count unless he involved the chiefs. Tell us why you think so. Because the lands are owned by the chief. If the chief say that me, as for my town, I will not allow Galamsi, no government in power go and do Galamsi over there. Because and we believe in traditional cursing and spare on the land. If the chiefs and the elder decided that we will cast a spell on the land or we cast the land, anyone who will go and work there and we catch you, maybe you pay this amount of sheep plus money, plus this, plus this, plus this, no one will go there and work. So what you're claiming is that there's no way the government can stop illegal money? There is no way, unless he involves the chiefs. Uh, in our earlier conversation, you told us that uh, you still managed to gather some money to buy a piece of land from a chief. Yeah, that land, uh, there is a problem on it. Last week, the chiefs over there called me to discuss about that, and, but I told him that, as for me, as for the Galamsey, I will not do it again. So the so, chief knew that you were buying the land for illegal mining or Galamsey? Yeah, they know. Even if we buy cocoa, some of them buy cocoa land. Yes, I have numbers I can give you to you. You can pretend it, and you say that you want to buy a land. You get it.